working. Hi. Perfect. Hi. How are you today? Good. How are you? I'm doing good as well. How's your Monday treating you so far? I'm sorry. Uh, how's the week treating you? How's Monday? Uh, you know what? I thought it was the weekend, so Monday's been great. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yes. Yes. I can understand that. For my job, I I rest on Sunday and Monday, so I love it because then the rest of the week is way, 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 way smooth. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want to make Monday a Sunday. Yeah, it's good yeah. because I mean Saturday. I mean, I used to rest, you know, like Saturday and Sunday, but then when they told me you're gonna rest Sunday and Monday, I was like, huh. So it's cool because then Saturday, it kind of feels like Friday for me, and then Sunday is like, okay, cool, and then Monday when everybody, you know, I'm in their busy day and everything, I'm resting. So I'm like, yeah, like that, you know. So, but so, so then when they say I hate Mondays, now I now I can say I actually don't, you know. Yeah, yeah, make Monday a fun day. Yeah, there we go. Love it. So. Well, uh, welcome to the show. It is so amazing and, and badass to have someone as epic as you. Let me just tell you that. And, oh, um, thank you. And, you know, starting with the whole interview now, let's go back in time a little bit here and tell me how your acting career started. Oh, man. Uh, well, you know, I, I wanted to be an actor when I was nine. Yeah. But um, it, it actually started in high school when I would uh, run... Uh, after cast, like open casting calls. So my mom would drive me um, for like eight hours to this open casting call in Quebec City. And yeah. there was one, it was my first audition, there was one she, she lined up with me because I was so nervous, I was sick. Mm. And so I was like vomiting in the hotel room. My mm. mom and sister were in line um, to, to get me an audition. And so that's when it started, you know, I was in high school, none of Serious. I didn't have an agent, but I was just sort of keeping, you know, uh, I'm seeing people I know. That's so great. Hi. Uh, that's how it all started. Like open casting calls. I did a few of them, but nothing ever amounted. And then I ended up going to theater school. So that's that's how it started. I love it. That's so cool. So basically, starting from the bottom, now we're here. Right? Uh, very much so, my friend. Very much so. I like it. I like that. So. You have been involved in like a lot of projects, such as uh, She Came Knocking, My Perfect Romance, Shadow Hunters, B Wars, The Wedding Planners, Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, the list is huge. I mean, while I was, you know, like doing the whole research, I was like, she's doing everything, you know, like constantly, yeah. constantly. That 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 is like so. Yeah, a that's lot so cool. Of genres. Huh? A lot of different genres. I've yeah, 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 yeah. Which is great, but tell me like how you usually prepare a character now we understand of course that depends on the depends on the role right but like what usually kind of uh, sets your mind into this whole character creation journey um i mean for me it starts with the audition right when i get an audition i um i'm someone who's very visual so the first my first in on a character is like what do they look like so yeah. i lo love costumes i love props i love do my hair and makeup. I never look the same. Uh, I feel like if you do like a, a PowerPoint of all the roles I've done, no. I wouldn't. I never look the same. Um, so that is what I love about it, the sort of like the chameleon-like nature of it. Um, and so after that, like let's say I, I book the part, then mm. I get. Actually, do I have my book here? If it's a really meaty role, this. This is the book that okay. is, this is my Bible. So it's okay. and to live by a world renowned acting coach called, uh, he's Larry Moss. I, I, I worked, well, I worked with him. I, I did a workshop with him, but this book, um, I read in theater school and game changer because he, his process is fantastic. It's a lot of, uh, creating a backstory for your character, a lot of uh, sense memory, a lot of uh, creating an emotional life for your character. So that way when you're on camera, you don't have to show, you just, you just, you just are, you live. Yeah. It sort of lives with the camera. So that's, that's what I like to do for like the media roles. And then for, let's say like more rom com -y roles, um, I tend to just trust my instincts and mm show up and be present yeah yeah and also i mean as we were um, as, as you were saying before the fact that you have been involved into so many projects also gives you the chance to experiment with so many genres here and there right yeah yeah i mean i do 
definitely have certain genres that I prefer um, and then other genres that come more naturally to me but uh, I know it's good to do a little bit of thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And talking a little bit about uh, some of those projects, you played uh, Celie, Queen Amara in Shadowhunters. But tell me, like, what are some of the things that you enjoy the most about your character? I mean, it was so, it was such a transformation. Like, yeah. first of all, I got cast on a Friday. Okay. And I was working on that on Monday. So I had very little time to prep. Okay. And so I ended up, and I was playing like an older version of a like pre-existing character. Um, so I watched the show. I really focused on uh, the Sealy Queens, uh, like Lola's work, Eric Burks, Sir Island. Um, and I, I based my performance off of that. And so I tried mm -hmm. to kind of mimic their accent. There's a, she has such poise. She's a Sealy Queen. Um, and then it was just a matter of like getting in that dress that they made custom for me and the wig and the crown yeah. and the makeup and the, the tattoos it, it, it was such a transformation that like once you do the accent it's, it was it was no longer me yeah I bet and did you audition for that character only or how did that work oh I auditioned actually when I auditioned for that part because on certain shows they, they changed they have code names and they have yeah mock size, mock auditions. So I actually didn't know who I was auditioning for. Uh, I just know that she, I knew she was powerful. I knew that she had a, a like a British accent. And that was it. Like, and because she had, she was a character on the show, I didn't think, I, not once did it occur to me that I was auditioning for the Queen. Um, but I had auditioned a bunch for the show and had gone to network, but nothing yeah. you know, panned out and then this came along so that's so cool and also I've heard right that depend on the project but sometimes if it is kind of a yeah kind of a big project they are gonna for the addition they will change the names of the characters for everything I mean they will put some like they, uh, they, they will put some different names here and there yeah so nobody knows right yeah 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 like you don't know sometimes yeah. like for guardians it's all code code words and code names and they change everything so it's not you know if 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 the audition size were to leak yeah like know what the project is um, yeah, absolutely. but sometimes there's there are hints and you're like oh, i i think i know what this is so cool and how uh, usually how usually it takes for you to get a role i mean after you audition for the character i mean i understand that it can it, it can change for the project but like what if what usually is kind of, kind of the typical time frame for for you to know if you got the role or not it's it really depends like it could be for shadow hunters it was such a quick turnaround yeah for v wars I, a month and a half in advance yeah um it, like it really times it's like you know you're in the running or you've been cast but the project's been delayed or like it, yeah yeah it, it really depends it could be fast and it could be a long time okay okay now do you remember one of your first auditions or like, or like your first audition do you still remember it yeah i had to slap a guy and <laughs> i do that it's like how do you i don't know i wonder i can't remember if i actually slapped him But I was in, in high school, it was a, an open cast call. So we drove eight hours, lined up, I was sick. And then I did the audition. And I think I took, it was for like Quebec series. I'm, I'm um, Quebec in Canada. So it was a series in French and I had to slap the guy. And I remember not knowing if I, I can't remember if I did, but that was my first. Okay, okay. And what has been like one of your funniest additions you ever had funniest oh god uh well i don't know if it was funny well i mean i think it was funny for casting it was embarrassing for me but i i okay. auditioned for a character on blue mountain state i don't know if okay, you uh -huh. so year like oh my god a decade ago and the character had um had no arms and they were casting Anyway, they, they brought in a bunch of girls and the character in the scene 
opens a beer can with her feet and then drinks that. Okay. It's not flexible. And I remember the casting director being like, oh, no, no, just really, you can mind, but just do it. Do it, you know, just bring your legs up. And I was like, instead of just being like, I can't do that. I just like tried. It was just a very silly audition. I felt kind of stupid. But those, those if, if I were to get that audition now, I would pass because I'm not the one to tell the story. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There you go. And what is kind of, uh, yeah, like what is kind of the things that you actually do, that you usually do to prepare for an audition? Do you have a, like a go-to, like a go-to song or like a, let's say like a ritual you kind of always do for you to kind of get ready? Like what is your thing? Well, my thing is definitely getting like, physically getting into character so like I'm always like okay what am I gonna wear how am I gonna do my hair my makeup uh what are my props like yeah. so it's for me it's a very visual thing um and I the emotion to always be there it's like it's, it's, it's accessible for me um so that's how I get ready it's very ritualistic you know the putting on of the makeup I take my time um, it's a lot of fun and um, and then after my audition I tend to either take a shower or take a nap just as like a reason yeah. otherwise I just carry that with me all day yeah yeah absolutely okay cool and so also you were Gamora in Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy tell Video. me what did Oh? <laughs> the video game, yeah. Video game, of course. But tell me, like, what did you enjoy the most about that character? Oh, I mean, the script was so good. Oh, yeah. So good. And the my other castmates, like, we had such a great, such great chemistry. And we had such, Sally, uh, we had such a great time shooting. So I think it was really uh, being on set felt like I, I got to play. Um, it was a lot of fun. Gamora is such an iconic character to me. I love her so much. And to get to portray that was such yeah. a treat. And like her physicality and 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 working with the guys, the script, the banter. It was just like the whole thing was so much, like too much fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can agree with that. I mean, I'm, I'm on my second run on the game. I finished it, but I'm, 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 uh, I'm playing it again. And let me just tell you that the script is brilliant. I mean, it's it's really cool. To, uh, like, even though whenever you just like walking, the the change of dialogue you have you have like between the characters. Some of the jokes are way darker, but super fun. You know, like all of like, I I do think like like they did an amazing an amazing job on the whole writing for the script and everything. It's because yeah. it's brilliant though. Yeah, it's a great. Yeah. I just read that my audio keeps dropping out. Still happen? I think it's good. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I, I do think that perhaps I think perhaps we're like one second of delay. I think so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can totally okay, hear Okay, now we're having... Now it got cut out. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah. By the way, those in the background are... My dog, I live with three dogs, so, you know, it, it tends to get noisy every now and then. Um, <laughs> okay, it breaks. It breaks up a lot, okay. Let's see if we can fix this. Uh, I'll just wait for a bit here. Let's see. Oh, okay. Let's redo it again. Hold on for hold on a second. Mm, let's see here. Uh, okay. Let's do it here. Hello, hello. Yeah, I think we're back. Okay. Sorry about that. I got kicked off. Yeah, I mean technology. I mean you can't you can't have a show here and there without some technical problems, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah, it happens. I see. Um, my 3G network, so hopefully that'll be better. Yeah, yeah, sounds, sounds, it, it, it does sound better though, so I think it's working though. Okay, great, awesome. Where Perfect. were, 
Yeah. So, uh, right now, what what were like when you were in the process of uh, of playing Gamora? What were some of your favorite lines, or like some of the lines that you remember the most? You know what? We were going through thousands and thousands of pages, yeah. and I remember, you know, laughing so much. The lines were so great. One. Uh, Shivering tit witches is old. Um, okay. So that was a fun one. But we ended up uh, laughing so much when we were recording the line that they made us a blue reel that is actually on my. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I saw it. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, they, they recorded us messing up because, you know, the skirt was so golden and sometimes we were caught off guard and we would just laugh. Yeah, absolutely. So cool. Now you also you also did the motion capture for Gamora, right? And yeah, was that like the first time you were doing motion capture? Yeah, yeah, that was that was yeah. my working in video games. Cool. Okay. Yeah. And uh, also doing voiceover was that was that like the first time for you as well? I'm sorry. Say that again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, doing voiceover for a video game was that like the first time as well for you? Yeah, yeah. We did full performance. So we did. We we got the my physicality, my whole body. My face and my voice. All cool. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Now, what are some of the things that you like the most? Oh, sorry, Simon. Ha <laughs> ha. Shout out. So Simon was the guy, our one of our great animators, who um, did the blooper reels. So oh, shout he did. Out Simon, who's watching. Hi, buddy. So cool. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that reel, that reel is hilarious, though. It's amazing. I love it. It's sorry. Really cool. Yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah. Perfect. Now, um, yeah, moving on here a, a little bit, right? So, during this whole process of character creation, what do you enjoy the most? You know, when you are uh, in this journey of of, uh, of creating it and you know, like setting it up, what do you enjoy the most about that? I think uh, my favorite would be um, relationships, whether it be you know, yeah. ones in the script or the one creating on set. Um, I love working with people. Um, I think that's the most fulfilling and satisfying part of my job. And also what I, what is appealing to me, uh, what attracts me to a role yeah. is the kinds of relationships, people, the psychology. Yeah. So that's what, you know, gets me, gets me going. Absolutely. And how you break up character, like after you finish it, like how you break, yeah, like how, how you break it so you can return to be you, you, let's say. Oh, um, interesting. Uh, I don't know if I process, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty good at like just turning it off. Like I, I, I like to go in and out quickly. Um, I I like to keep trinkets from set as a as a souvenir. I like I like memorabilia just because I like to have memories with me. I have a bunch of memories. Um but it's mostly auditions that I feel like I need to you know, get rid of the energy. Yeah. Yeah. But mm -hmm. when love it so much and when I'm done with a character I you know I have to mourn I definitely Gamora I had to mourn um Danica Danica and Bob on the uh, V Wars they're, they're characters that I I got to play for such a long time mm. I had to, uh, had to mourn them there was a grieving yeah. process there for sure and how long it took the process for doing uh the I mean now they mentioned Gamora again for for the motion capture and the voiceover, like how long it took for you? Oh man, I think the guys, I came in a little later, so I think it was two and a half years for me, but I think the guys, it wow. was on and off for four years. So it's it's quite an extensive okay. process. Okay, also right. it didn't happen in the middle of the, of the, of the pandemic, right? It was some yeah, 2021, yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so we were on, we stopped shooting for three months back into the studio uh, and we were doing you know a week 
or two weeks of mm. uh, performance capture and then voice recording um, a month kind of thing. So it was very on and off, but pretty consistent. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I mean, that, also that, that you mentioned that you keep trinkets here and there, what are some of your favorite ones that you have? Oh, wait, I'll show you. Just give it a sec. Yeah. So this is um, a little Hawaiian dancer. Okay. Uh, anyone who's, who watches uh, Titans would have uh, would remember that it was a prop in the episode I did. Um, so I asked the prop master if I can keep that, and I did. They gave it to me. I love it. So I like to for Gamora. I actually uh, asked if I w I could keep one of the sensors and. Um, and uh, I, I put it in my Christmas tree, so some of the things end up in the Christmas tree. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. So, if you could describe, so here we go. So, if you could describe a film, right, in which all of the characters you have played, basically since day one until right now, so it's all of those characters you have played will gather for your birthday. So, basically, it's going to be, so picture this, it's going to be a film in which all of those characters are going to gather for your birthday. Tell me what would be the name of that film? A very bloody birthday. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> it would be a satire. It would be uh, sort of like a set up like a ro like a romantic comedy. All the tropes of a romantic comedy. Okay. Uh, and Lady Vic and Laura show up and uh, shit hits the fan and it becomes a very gory mess because I don't think they would get along. And I don't think, you know, you throw in a vampire and a Sealy Queen in there, it, it turns bloody real quick. Yeah, yeah, so we will switch into a kind of a dark comedy, right? It's a dark comedy, yeah. But we make fun, we kind of make fun of the, the sort of the rom-com ropes. Mm. Mm. Okay. Lots of kill. <laughs> now, what about this? From all of the characters you have played at the moment, if you had to choose one to go out party with, which one would it be? Gamora and her friends. Yeah, I can understand yeah. that. That'd be cool. Hey, Gamora, let's go for a drink. Can you bring your whole? I feel yeah. like a riot. Don't you? Yeah. Wouldn't but you know, drink with a guardian. I mean, that would be that. That would be that would be pretty pretty cool. But I, yeah, that would be bad. I mean, but I had to admit, it would turn also a kind of a dark comedy. You know, it would have murder will be involved eventually, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Probably a lot. Get really drunk. It would be funny. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. I love that. That's so cool. And if you had to describe your career, your whole acting career, but on a song, which one would you pick? You Learn by Alanis Morissette. <laughs> oh, we'll check on that. You can count on that. Okay. Yeah, it's like it's like you live, learn, kind of. You know, it's like basically about you fuck up in life, but at least you learn. So I feel like that's like the the anthem of my career. It's it's very up and down, up and down, up and down. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, like, what motivates you? You know, we all have those days, right? That um, we just want to quit. You know, regardless if it is if if things are are, are doing good or not. We just tend to think that maybe they're not and we just want to quit. Like how you deal with that, but also how you manage to be back up again and continue this journey that you have been for so many years now. Um, I, I always remind myself how far I've come. Okay. And that tends to give me the energy and the motivation to continue because I, you know, I over, you know, I get, overwhelmed by the mountain in front of me and where I want to go and yeah. it's I can you know it, it, it gets hard but it, when I look back of everything I've accomplished and how hard it's been and I'm still here doing it then it's like I got this so be take pride in your journey and how far you've come it's yeah. not an easy road but you can persevere Absolutely. And has it happened to you sometimes that you 
that you think that that if you haven't become an actor what have you been doing or like what, oh my like, god but every day I had to quit last night <laughs> <laughs> well i think it's part of like it's a job right you hit a ball and you're like i have to quit um but i don't really want to quit i just say that because you know it feels yeah good. yeah um yeah. sorry what was the question I, like side like back. like back then like back then when you were recently started with your acting career was there a plan b at some point or not at all no so i, I never believed in a plan b because I feel like if you have a plan B when things get hard you're going to end up falling on it. I never ever had a plan B. I had other things I was good at. I had a uh, passion for photography. Um I am very crafty. Like mm -hmm. I, I do like I could probably go into you know clothing design or you know I'm very artistic but I never had a plan B. Um, and and that set a fire under my ass to like get to where I wanted to go. Uh, yeah, never had a backup. Don't believe in backups. So would you say that if I so would you say that that if you're gonna if you're gonna start something, go all in. Don't don't have a all because in. it does it does make sense what you said because yes, I mean whenever if you have like a like a second option, the minute as you mentioned, the minute that it gets a little bit complicated. You basically go to the to the to the second option and probably so. Yeah, and like don't get me wrong, like I worked a million no jobs. Like I, I worked so many like little jobs side to support myself, but yeah. they, were, they were always only little jobs. Like they never like I was I was an usher for a bit, a babysitter, I worked at a clothing store. I did, I did all of these other jobs to support myself, but I knew that those things would never get in the way of my acting um because i yeah i wanted to really focus put all of my energy into what i really wanted what what brought me joy, which was to play yeah 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 but also that also did help you later on in future for the creation of eventually for a character here and there right as as you got experience in a different jobs here and there that i mean that i could see that as a as a as an investment for later on it could be like oh i did this i did this i can kind of remember a little bit and put it on the character and you know yeah it was part of the hustle i had to hustle you know yeah. love it okay okay and hear me out so let's say right then one day i call you and, and i tell you hey, guess what you know what i'm i'm going to be an actor now i don't have any experience at all probably like 10 minutes yeah 10 minutes but um uh after that no experience at all like And then I ask you for an advice. What yeah. advice could you could you give to me for someone that only has 10 minutes in acting and wants to start this in this journey? Well, I would start by asking you why you want to be an actor. Like what is it that is appealing to you? And depending on your answer, I then I would I would give an advice. For example, um has someone asked my favorite side job. Um I'm a usher at the Panasonic Theater in in Toronto. I, I got to watch musicals all day. It was pretty I That's watched so cool. musical cat about a thousand times and by the end I I started I started acting like a cat. It was very bizarre, but that was my favorite one. Um back to my yes. So, you know, if someone's like I love playing, I love acting, I love storytelling, then that freaking awesome. I would mm -hmm. It, act class um uh you can go to theater school if you want not necessary get an agent get a good photo a resume uh get some experience but if someone's like i like attention and i want to be famous yeah. then i would tell them acting's not for you <laughs> because you know you don't do it for the fame you don't do it for the attention Yeah, okay. I mean, sometimes you get it, but it's that's not what it's about. Yeah, totally. I mean, if you want to if you're going to if you are doing it just for the fame, you can do a TikTok video and and then in a couple of days you're viral and problem solved, you know? Yeah, there you go. I'd say get a TikTok. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. And what about that, you know, what about I want to become an actor because I want to 
yeah, you know what, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, let's say that I want to become an actor because I just want to try something new. You know, I have uh, I have done a, a lot of things here, but I just want a new career change, like a way, 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 you know, try something new. I, I mean, yeah, I would say like do some, com you know, community theater, do some, some theater. And then if you wanted to do like, commercials and stuff, it's yeah. just, it is a hard career. Like you need to be so passionate about what you do and you need to be so um, okay with failure and being told no all the time. Like I, you need someone that is like in, in it, very in it so I, I would just be hesitant to um, encourage anyone who isn't super serious about it to mean like, I don't want yeah, no, yeah, yeah, to be serious about it but I would start with the little things you know some, some there's some great theater commu uh, community theaters out there there's some great you can do some commercial you can do some background work see if that see if you're okay with 16 hour days yeah you know it's a lot of acting it's a lot of hurry up and wait are you okay with that are you okay with working for free for a while until you build the rest like that sort of stuff there's a certain lifestyle to being an actor that a lot of people don't like because they need security um so if you're if you're someone who needs a lot of security maybe it's not the job for you <laughs> <laughs> okay Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like years ago, well, actually a year ago, when I, uh, a year and something, when I started this, there was this actress who told me that actors don't do films for a living, they do auditions, you know? And uh, she was referring a lot in, into the fact that, that you are, that you, that you are going to do like so many auditions and sometimes you're not going to get casted for any of it. Sometimes you will, but I mean, as, as, um, as you was mentioned, uh, uh, the fact that it gets tough fact that you will be rejected and sometimes you're gonna get into this into this um yeah into this moment in, in which you're gonna be rejected basically all the time so i understand the fact yeah. what you're saying that you can't to frame the rejection they're not rejecting you although it does feel like that it feels like that of course yeah. it's numbers game you want to be doing a lot of you know to then get opportunity in book park but you know that person what they said was totally true, where it's like I've always seen as my job is to audition and when I book the job that's like the yearly bonus yeah you know what I mean so you can't you can't be expecting you, know, you can't expect to book every job it's, it's not realistic yeah but it's you just keep doing it and you do good work consistently and then you you know you 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 casting is impressed with how solid your work is and you you know you get a reputation of being a solid actor and next yeah. thing you know you get a shot and you do good work and it just sort of feels that way yeah absolutely okay okay and my last question here yes what can we expect from you in the future uh darker greater grittier work so I, I like to say that I've retired from rom <laughs> I, I, I about a year and a half ago I asked my agent that I was done playing romantic leads uh, and I chopped my hair off and I was like I'm, I'm done playing the leading lady ingenue uh, give me some 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 raw not raw dirty Mm. roles so um, I have a bunch of stuff coming up in the next months to a year um, that are a lot grittier that's amazing I can't wait I can't wait every day. and in fact you know one of the cool things that I love about it, interviewing actors is the fact that you're doing it because you love it you know and as yeah. simple as it may sound it does take sometimes years or even a whole decade or, or even your whole life to discover what you really you want to do in life and actually what makes you happy and the fact that you're doing it you're having results and you're showing everybody that uh, that dreams can come true which is amazing but also i mean there's this huge hard work behind that you that i do think that um that uh, that you need to do right you know that you know in order to kind of follow what you want to do in life regardless if you want to be an actor or whatever i mean there's this 
hard work that you need to do behind the scenes in order to get where get where you at some point want to be, right? So. Well, like any job, you know, it takes it takes time, effort, expertise, and you got to put in your hours. Um, I mean, my 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 brother is a surgeon and my sister is a nurse, and that did not happen overnight. It's years and years of hard work. Acting is is no different. Yeah. I've been doing this for 13 years, and like it's only I'm, I feel like I'm only at the beginning. So. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I mean, you. I mean, we are, I mean, you can. As, as I was saying before, what, what I was doing, like whole research, I was like, she's doing everything. You know, at some point, I could say, so here's Kim. She's doing everything. You know, whatever you want, she's doing it, which is amazing. And I'm super sure that eventually we're gonna know more about you. And at some point, then our next conversation, our, uh, yeah, our next conversation would be where where can we put the awards on the wall because there's so many now and I don't know where to put it. Well, I have a beautiful green wall here that uh, can host a shelf full of awards. There you go. We all like awards. So I won't I won't hold my breath. <laughs> there you go. I love it. But, uh, but uh, until that day, uh, yeah, until that day happens, Kim, again, thank you so, so much for making it happen. I understand that you have like a busy schedule here and there. Uh, you're awesome. You're super talented and badass and I can't wait and I'm super sure that we're gonna hear from you super soon in more badass yes. projects. That's gonna happen here you know that. For sure, anytime, please. I love, I also wanna thank those who are watching this right now. Uh, make sure that you follow and came in all the social media. If you're not, go follow her right now. Leave me a like, she's, she's awesome. Let's make her viral, hashtag Team Kim, because she's the best. Oh, Team Kim. And, um, and again, Kim, thank you so much. Have an incredible thank rest you. of, yeah, an incredible week, an incredible you Monday, know. and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Have a good one, bye. bye.